What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? This is Anthony from UCC Magazine. We're at the outbreak in the Dallas Fort Worth, Texas area. I caught up with the homie Princeton Marcella. Say what's up to the people, man. What's going on? What's going on? Good to be here, man. That's what's up, man. Now, when I first heard his music, man, I thought you was a West Coast, I mean, not West Coast, East Coast cat because the way you flow and all that stuff. So, yeah. what's your influences? Where'd you, where'd you? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, growing up for me, I always listened to hip hop growing up because of my dad. Uh, but I didn't really get into a lot of South music to really, I was in high school. So, until I was in high school, I wasn't listening to Wayne, Ludacris, T.I., I wasn't listening to none of them cats. No diss to them because they go hard. I just didn't really know about them. I grew up listening to Pot, Jay Z, DMX, Nas, Eminem. You know what I'm saying? A lot of West Coast and East Coast. So uh, I think that influenced the way that I rap and the way I even speak. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. No doubt, no doubt, man. So you said you from the Dallas area or? Born and raised Dallas, Texas, bro. Uh, specifically Carrollton, Texas. Okay. You know what that's at? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carrollton, man, is, you know, just like a suburb of okay. Dallas. Uh, but yeah, born and raised here, Triple D. I couldn't, right now, I can't imagine myself living anywhere else. Mm. But, you know, there are some other cities out there for music and acting and all that, so. Oh, so you do acting as well? What is it all yeah. that you do? Yeah, so my main two dreams and pursuits is rapping and acting. Okay. Uh, so I got a couple of commercials coming out here in the future. Be on the lookout for one Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Yeah. I know you. Was, I know you were Spanish, man. <laughs> I can a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Un poquito. A little razzle dazzle. Yeah. He said a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> Just a little bit, man. You no know, doubt, nothing, no nothing, nothing too serious. You know, get around. I can get around. No doubt. And, and pick it up. No know? doubt. Yeah. So what's up, man? How many um, albums? Is this your first album, or how many albums have you come out with? What's going on with that? Yeah. So so currently, I'm working on a new mixtape. Okay. Uh, I haven't put out an quote unquote album yet, okay. but I do have a previous mixtape as well, like on Dat Piff and whatnot. Uh, and then I have, you know, a couple singles out there. Some of the singles will be on the new mixtape, some of them won't be. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this new stuff because uh, it's, going, it's going to a place of pain mm -hmm. and hope at the same time mm -hmm. that I've never gone to okay. with the music. So it's a lot more transparency, a lot more relatability, mm -hmm. and a lot more just real life stuff infused with my faith. Instead of just rapping scriptures, um, just rapping about my life, you know what I'm saying? And the stuff I've been through, stuff I'm going through right now. That's what's up, man. So when, at what point did you realize that this is what you really wanted to do and you got serious with it? That's a good question. So. What's crazy is I've been rapping since I was five. Mm. Uh, and it was just like a hobby, but I would do it like with a passion though. Mm -hmm. Like no one had to tell me to do it or pursue right. it. Now it wasn't until I got to University of North Texas, mm -hmm. which is in Denton, uh, that you know God was starting to put the pieces around me in terms of you know people who could challenge me in my music, who had nothing to do with music, mm. and also people who did have something to do with music and I was able to learn and grow from them. So it was at that point in my life where it was like, yeah, yeah, this, let me go ahead and just take a crack at it. Also, um, I got cut from the, the basketball team. There so, it is, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Why well, I didn't necessarily get cut, I, I didn't make, I didn't make yeah. it. It sounds, you know, that means two years. it sounds I mean, like I got cut, cut, I got but cut. you know what I'm saying? But I'll to me, you. it's like, when you get cut, it's like you was on it, right. and then they cut you off. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, well, I was never oh, on it, but uh, I tried out my freshman year, sophomore year, because uh, that's what I wanted to do originally, okay. was go to the league, go to, to the NBA. I don't get it twisted. I, I will still get buckets, though. Oh, no doubt. I get right. buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get buckets. But, um, yeah, I just saw that as a, as, a, as a way that, man, God's closing his door. And I'm not the dude <clears throat> to, you know, try out for all these other leagues and semi-pro. I thought you was like a football that. player. That's why I, when I look, I was like, he must must play football or something. I get that all the time, bro. I just have a natural stocky build, but... Mm -hmm. I could have played football, I just never pursued it like that because I never wanted to get hurt right. where I couldn't play what I really wanted to play, which was basketball. Gotcha. So I was like, nah, 
Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So, yeah, man. After after I was at UNT, God just kept opening those doors. Um, that's when I really started. Like I started traveling with Dylan Chase a little bit. Okay. After Dylan, I started traveling with Tadashi a little bit. Oh wow. Okay. This is like as their hype man. Right, right. And then after Tadashi, I started traveling with Lecrae a little bit. It's his wow. hype man. Okay. So then it was just like, hey, I didn't feel like I had to like force it. Right, right, right. I just had to keep pursuing it, keep doing what I need to do, and then God was opening the doors. Now I'm at a point where, you know, like I say in my music career, where it's like it's all or nothing in terms of my own brand, my own name. Mm -hmm. When people hear me, what do I want them to hear and think about? And I don't want them to think about nobody else. I mean, you can think about other people, like, man, he kind of sound like, oh, he kind of, but, but at the end of the day, I don't want to be in the shadow of anybody right. else. You know gotcha. what I mean? I want my own lane, my own brand, and it's hard to do, but at the same time, <clears throat> nobody else is like me, so I can do it. No doubt, no doubt. Me? Now, Will Smith said something a while ago, and he was like, you know, really, there's no plan B, there's only a plan A. When you have a plan B, then that's something to fall back on, and you don't work as hard as plan A. How do you feel about that? I support that, 100%. Um, I think if you do have a plan B, because growing up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, you know, people want to go to the NFL, the NBA, want to be this, want to be this. Those are really their true dreams, and then they always hear, well, what if you don't make it? You're going to have something to fall back on. And I do get that. I do understand that. But at the same time, for me, it's like, yeah, I want to do music, and I'm doing music. But if I can give you an example, I also want to do acting. Right. Playing Acting is not my plan B necessarily. Right. The acting I feel like goes with the music. Right. So if anything, I feel like, <clears throat> like Pac. Yeah. Exactly, exactly like Pac. So if anything, I feel like um, plan. If you do have a plan B, don't let plan B take away from plan A. Right. Because I, I feel like having a different plan is not necessarily a bad thing. I think he's just talking about a mindset. Right. You know what I mean? Like you don't fail until you quit. True that. True that. So true that. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Now I heard they're gonna be coming out with a juice too. <laughs> would you would you play the role of Tupac for Juice 2? Would, would you try out for that role? Would I? Yeah. I mean I would, but he died. That and brother dead. <laughs> I'm not talking about I'm not talking about pot pot. I'm talking about I'm talking about him in the movie. Right. The lady well, so so I don't know what you know. But I don't know who I would be. You, like, you I be his be. little brother. We don't okay, if he has a little brother, <laughs> we don't necessarily know I'm saying if he is, are right, they right, really right. doing that? Yeah, I heard they was doing it. I don't know we if don't they should do that. that. Right, but you don't know if he died. <laughs> Maybe yeah, he was, was going down and then he just he he <laughs> well, Bishop. Yeah, he <laughs> Bro, we know Bishop. Man, he ain't make it. You don't know. He just, the, 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 the scene faded <laughs> out. <laughs> so is Omar? Is Omar X gonna be in it? Cause they say Pac ain't get along. They say he got the juice now. Yeah, yeah. So he gonna. Be crazy now? Is that, what, <laughs> is that what it's gonna happen, bro? I mean, I would, dog. I no, would no, no, because no, I no, really no. love that movie. That's right, 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 right. That might be one of my top five favorite movies all time, man. No doubt. Yeah. That Scarface. I got some other. Maybe The Matrix. I really love The Matrix, bro. Okay. Because it's deeper than what you can right. think about it. Way deeper than what right. it is. Well, but, now I'm, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say something about that because a, a lot of Christian folks and stuff they be like, well, you know what, you like. Those movies like Scarface, Juice, those type of things, those aren't Christian movies. Or that's what you that's what you really like, and that's glorifying violence and stuff. And you listen to that stuff. How do you feel about that? I feel as though um, that they that's a good mindset to have mm -hmm. because the motive comes from a good place. Mm -hmm. uh, however, yes, we're in the world and not of it, but we are in it. And I feel like you can't neglect and act like the world is, you can't sugarcoat stuff. Right. Like when the way I grew up, um, I grew up in a Christian household. I didn't myself become a believer until I was 16. Mm -hmm. But what helped me to navigate through the world then and now is that my dad or my mom never shielded me from anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that whenever I saw it in real life, I already had a perspective on it because my dad already told me. Now, if I didn't have a perspective on it, he didn't tell me yet, and he was just hiding it from me, then I find out about it, guess what I'm gonna do? 
Mm-hmm. Well, I, need, I need to experience this. Right, like, right. what's up? You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So I feel like with the movies and whatnot, for me, man, I just, I'm just real, bro. I like to be real. And I think God is real. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, if you don't, if another, believe it or not, watch it, I'm not going to be like, man, you need to watch this. Nah, but at the same time, like, there's a chair right here, right? Mm-hmm. Is that a Christian chair? Or is it just a chair? It's just a chair. Well, we in church, so it's a Christian chair. I'm joking I mean, with you. I mean, no, I'm joking I, with you. It's I, just I a chair. I think no. so. On the real, on the real. Because this church is just a yeah, yeah. building, right? Yeah, you're right. You're so right. it's just church like... in your heart. Yeah, exactly. We are the body. We are We are the people. We are the church as a, as a, as a global community. This ain't nothing but a building that the local people around here come to. Right. And so it's just like, yo... Uh, uh, when you watch stuff or listen to music or movies, whatever, yes, you can think about it in a way that God thinks about it. Mm. But that don't mean you have to do it or that you're glorifying it. Because if that's the case, don't watch the news. Oh, you're watching the news, so you're glorifying what they're showing on the news. Right. Mm. Right, right, right. Violence every day on there. True that, true that. You know what I'm saying? And shoot, the way they portray certain races, you're going to think about right. that race. Exactly. Only in that light. I might as well cut my so, hair now. So I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm saying. So I mean, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of dialogue that can happen about that. But I feel like, yo, if this person does does it for this reason, this person does it for this reason. If they're both both trying to honor God, like Paul says in, in Romans, mm-hmm. so be it. That's what's up, man. Well, tell me a little bit about that watch you got on. Oh yeah, 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 man. This, this cat named uh, Cold World. Mm. This cat named Cold World, man. Let me cop it real quick, man. Show it up uh, to the camera. Put it, it's put it all nice, up in kinda there. It's kind of icy, you know what I mean? Yeah, but not over my face. Oh, I my need bad. to be <laughs> talking with you. Yeah, yeah, it's straight, man. It's real uh, authentic and, you know what I'm saying, got a little gleam to it. Not too much. I'm more of a simple guy, so I like okay. it. I like That's it, what's man. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, check that out, man. His uh, IG is Cold World on uh, social media, so yeah, hit that up. That's what's up, man. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of things with Cold World, you know what I'm saying? UCC Magazine, Slew TV, Cold World, we, you know, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah. Um, so shout out your information, man. How do people book you, get in contact with you and all that? For sure, <clears throat> so uh, main things, social media, Princeton Marcellus, just type that in on any platform, now pop up. Uh, if you How do you spell that? Like the university, P R I N C E T O N, and then Marcellus, M A R C E L L I S. Uh, or you can hit me directly, booking Princeton Marcellus at gmail.com. That's what's up, man. This is Anthony from UCC Magazine, the homie Princeton Marcellus, the homie Cold World with the watches and all that stuff, man. We at the Outbreak, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. Stay tuned. I could already tell, man, he's going to be big. You could just see the aura with him. Around it, he's gonna be big. Look at from TV, film, not basketball. <laughs> TV, film. <laughs> I'm joking with you. Like you said, you probably tear me over the court. But what I'm saying is, oh boy, it's gonna be big, man. Stay tuned for him. Yeah.